Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today, let's talk about this piece of work that I did. It's about flashlight photography style. I start doing this as a learning process. It's because I have watched a YouTube channel. This channel is very valuable and uh, it's a very interesting channel. And um, I suggest you guys can go subscribe it. And uh, unfortunately, he didn't talk about so much like a detail how he do this. It's just a bunch of experimental render using Blender. So that's why I'm here to share what I have learned by watching his render. And I hope it can help you to learn this as well. So now let's pick one of his render. By watching this, what I have learned first is about the character. So we will talk about the character and also the like the red eye. In this kind of style, often we will have like the red eye so we can get more realistic and we will talk about the lighting how do we mimic the flashlight lighting and also the one most important thing is about the how do we mimic this darkness around the body when you have using the strong flashlight often we will get this result like for this image as an example you can see this like a corner will be darkened and also the color more saturated so we will do that as well also we will talk more about the character about the skin detail like a sunburn without the sunburn and also some beauty spot on the body and also like a freckles and so on and also like a motion blur can give some realism as well so that's what we were going to talk about in this video okay now let's take a look at my character and my file to see the detail of it so that is the character let's go to the the ev so it can be faster you can see even in the ev it looks quite nice And let's take off the water first so we can see the full body. Maybe the lighting also change. Okay, so that's the character. So I make this character using Human Generator, and uh, they have the newest version. And I will make a separate video talk about that in the detail. But uh, right now, I just give you uh, like a quick look to see what is the thing that is the most valuable for the new version of the Human Generator about the character. One thing I think is very important is don't make your character too beautiful. If we take a look at uh, his image, we can see like some of his character is actually not that beautiful like uh, in terms of like a supermodel or high fantasy stuff so you can make your character less perfect so that you can achieve some realism for example like uh, if you see my character now it's actually i think it's quite beautiful that's because i have been working this too long and uh, if you I show you the earlier image of the same character. You can see it's not as beautiful, but uh, it's even more real. And also the body type is even, like uh, have more body fat. So I think to achieve the realism, that's one thing we can think about. In the new human generator, there is much more slider that you can control detail of your body or your face so you can really make a very different character and even more realism but the best of it is you can save your blend shape to the slider for example i don't like the how it the fit looks like so i make the slider for the fit so now it looks I think it looks better also for the finger I make some slider for that like, uh, see this so now it have more detail and also I make one like a long nail okay so something like that of course this is on the body you can make some for the face as well 
and I will be share this like uh, my blend shape in my Patreon in the future. If you want to go download the newest human generator, just go to the link down below. Okay, now let's talk about how about the red eye. How can we get the red eye? So it's easy to do that. Just uh, for your character come with eyes. If you're using human generator, you will get the I looks like this you can see there's like a room for your pupil and I think in the default it's just like black so you will not get this red eye if you wanted to get the red eye just simply apply a material for the inner room I have a material for that it's this one and by the way I'm using blender 4.0 beta if you are using an earlier version it's basically the same, just uh, looks different. So just keep in mind that you just make a material for actually this normal is not necessary, just like a red color. This is just like a mega slider for the darkness of it. And important thing is you can make some mechanic for it, so it will really like this kind of gradient kind of like a reflective instead of just like a plain color and then after that you just assign that just go to the animal and pick this in the room and just assign the material so you can have this and if I not using human generator just um, extrude in your pupil and make a room for it that's how you get the red eye give you a much much more realism in terms of like a photograph and now let's talk about the lighting um the lighting is quite simple basically in this shot i just use it one lighting which is for the flashlight so you just make um, a spotlight or area light and the most important part is you turn this radius quite small so we almost come with the one spot Okay, and turn the power of it pretty strong so that the setting of the light and then just put the two constraint the first constraint is copy location and the target just pick your camera is so it will always follow your camera just like uh, you're holding a camera with the flashlight and then after that using a track 2 the track 2 means where it point to so the target you can make uh, like a uh, empty make a uh, empty okay and you just pick that as the target and you grab your empty and that will be track to where it looks so that is how the lighting works so Whenever you move your camera, the light will always follow, and that is how it looks like a flashlight. And I have made a camera assistance, we will talk about that in the future. But in the meantime, I might post earlier in my Patreon, so you can grab the assistance. It will have like a handshake and also like a, like a, you can follow the curve or something. Okay, so that is the camera and now let's talk about the most important thing is how do we achieve this dark edge in your skin? So if you just go to your character skin, so all this is coming from human generator, the skin texture, but uh, just don't worry about it if you use any kind of assistance you can do it as well so most important part is over here let's see before if I mute this you can see this character so that is without all this you can see your character it's like a very plain color is quite even just with some little shadow of it but uh, with this you can really see the punch of the flashlight so how do we achieve this uh, just don't worry about all this that is all the makeup and also some other like the water drop 
So just imagine this is directly point to your base color. Okay, so it's like that. Let's do it over here. This is your base color. This is your output to your shader. So the most important thing is layer weight. It's this. So let's take a look what is this. For the layer weight, you will get the corner of your body. And what is this? Um, like a different take of this. So we can try each of this. Basically, we just mix this with some color control and we will use this hue saturate value. Just pick over here and let's do here. So we can make it like a, we know we want it to be like a darker and also the color be more a saturate. So maybe 1.5. So, using a layer weight to the effect, and it, it is already applied, but uh, maybe we can make it stronger by using a color ramp. So you can see that. Okay, now let's try to use this one. So actually, I prefer the second one because. Uh, if we look uh, in the sound image so actually we have this kind of distance from here to here here is like overall it will be darker that is the second one will provide the first one is it calculated without the depth of the your character in the space so i think the second one will even better and just make uh, some change of this maybe yeah something like this I think it works this white just give a little bit lower value not totally white like that we can really achieve the flashlight feeling on your skin now let's talk about some detail on the skin like uh, this kind of lighter part of the skin without the sunburn and some makeups and some water drops all the detail is coming from here the note that i built before i have a tutorial for that you can go check it out so i just make some maybe some freckles okay that's the freckles and also some um, lipsticks lighter part of the skin you see that I make a texture pen for that. Yeah, just mix that, all that with the base color. Okay, and feed that your base color. So just make some variable for your skin. It will give uh, more realism. All the water drop um, for the sweat or some tears that it come to here. So um, I download a texture that looks like this i using the crystal bridge and i download that some like a water drop texture i use that to fit mix with um, the roughness and mix with some metallic to achieve the like a water highlight roughness and also i fit that with bump so i feed that finally to the normal i think basically that it's everything for the character part or the skin part then we can talk about final kick for the realism uh, motion blur and also this kind of like a block out like a, when you're holding a camera you will block out some of the light block out you can just simply Post your character holding the camera and the camera just like a bypass your finger and also the light will be hitting on your finger so you can get that or you just like a put like a sphere or something near the camera you can do that motion blur you just like a make a animation for your camera from point one to point b 
come over the setting there's like a motion blur just click on this and the second setting the higher it goes the stronger the motion blur will go even you render a still image it will also calculate the motion blur if your camera has some animation so that will give the realism there is like a one little things one is for the this highlight over like around your eye i think if you use like a dash 3d the character will have that but in human generator it didn't have that so we can make this in the future video when we talk about the detail of the new human generator they also make something like uh, the water that intersect with your body that will have this kind of highlight that works is similar with their tier line the same logic so i can talk about that in the future in the same time yeah i think that it's basically everything about this video and also i have made a seasons about the eye movement including the random eye look point and also the blinking i'm still like uh, improving this and also i will talk about that in the future video and i will share that in my patreon um, even maybe before the video be released if you like this kind of content just you can join my patreon and subscribe the channel and i will see you in the future video thank you for watching bye bye